right now. what I have behind me here is a 120 foot fire tower they built these things to watch for fires in the early 1900s and there used to be a man that would report here seven days a week and on some locations of the ones I've climbed they actually had a family of theirs that would live underneath these this one right here is 120 feet tall and some of them range only 100 feet, depending on the terrain that it was built on. Um, there's one in Monroe County that's 120 feet, and it's on a hill, so that's the tallest lookout point of any fire tower. It's a really cool one. But this one right here is my favorite because it was my first one I've ever climbed. And I did it when I was 16, like I said. Uh, this is just a little backstory. Anyway, they were in operation from the early 1900s all the way to 1980, and they defunct them then. But there's a lot of them that are still intact. The ironwork is still intact, but the decking is in such bad shape, they deem them all unclimbable since 1980. Um, of course, you can just see what I just did. You know, you have to get 20 feet up to get the first step and just about all the boards are rotten. right over there that's almost bottomless it's an old rock quarry that filled in years ago sides like this. The wood is gone. guys doing folks 120 foot fire tower from the early 1900s
but stay safe on rooftop and in climbing towers trust me very dangerous you don't want to get drunk or smoke or anything like that before you do your climbs it's always best to be sober when you're attempting climbs um, I'm not preaching to you I'm just telling you how I do things uh, you can do whatever you want but I'm just letting you know it's not safe um, anyway I hope y'all enjoy this little documentary on uh, fire towers this is the thing this is the app this is the actual fire tower right here that got me into climbing buildings and towers uh, I've done over a hundred towers water towers across the United States since I was 16 um, my tallest tower of today was a 400 meter tower that's been destroyed uh, it fell over in like a 2001 I believe it was a free climb me and three friends did it and you know we climbed the tower while it was actually active with power running through it which was complete insanity I would definitely wouldn't recommend doing that um, that was my last time doing it I'd done four big uh, radio radio towers and my biology teacher and my science teacher at school said it probably fried my insides with all the radio, um, microwaves going through it and that I would be sterile and would never be able to have kids so it spooked me back then I never did any more but just climbing those things with the, the big those red lights on them would be this big around but uh, you could hear the power surging through them um, but I proved him wrong because I have a wonderful daughter but um, anyway uh, this was always a special one to me Try not to bore y'all, but I was giving y'all a little backstory about it. Anyway, until next time, always keep your eye on the treasure.